All right, hello and welcome back. We are live talking about HostGator today. This is where our hosting is, and all that means is that when we get our WordPress.org application, which is free, um, it needs to be hosted somewhere. Now, some people who are developers, um, graphic designers, um, they have their, they may have their own. Um, web uh, hosting accounts or they have their own servers and so it's completely free for them obviously because they're hosting on their own servers uh, but we need to host on someone else's servers a third-party server and one of those is HostGator which is what I use it's what I've always been using and of course I'm a creature of habit I don't know about you but I pretty much stick with the same thing as long as it's going good and they've had excellent customer service I've never had an issue with HostGator so you know it's to me it's an awesome awesome service so this is the front page that you're looking at uh, hostgator.com and they have some options here for uh, creating a package or a hosting package so I I'm going to go there's some new things that have been added since I've been with hostgator um, I'm gonna go to web hosting because that's where I started that's pretty much what uh, looks the same to me right now um, they actually cleaned up this site a lot it used to look so messy that you didn't know what was going on so I love the new site now these are the three basic plans for web hosting you have your hatchling plan which is just for one domain you'll get uh, one click installs which is also something new that HostGator is doing um, unmetered bandwidth and you have a shared SSL which is your security certificate um, you have your baby plan here that's unlimited domains which I recommend also one click install and it also has the same bandwidth and certificate amount and then you have the business plan which is what I have it's unlimited domains also one click installs and the other it also has the unmetered bandwidth it also has free private SSL and IP and it also has free toll-free numbers which I didn't know about that and I'm thinking I wonder did they just do that or because I really utilize toll-free numbers I believe in having a toll-free number for your website for to be professional in your business but anyways so I recommend not doing the hatchling I did that when I first got on because I didn't think I was gonna need anything else but when you start to learn about online marketing and getting your business online and and uh, creating sales funnels and things like that you're gonna realize that you need um, more access to web pages so I re recommend either the baby plan which is unlimited domain or doing the business plan which is what I do now they have a uh, yearly and they also have monthly I have three years where I pay a lump sum with the business pan plan I think it's like three hundred and fifty dollars every three years that I pay um, that would equate to eleven dollars and ninety six or twelve dollars a month with um, with the uh, baby plan you have that option to do it yearly uh, one year two years three years or you can do it monthly people get kind of weirded out when they see at checkout when they see their yearly when they do it for three years because obviously it's tallying the price of the seven dollars and ninety six cents times three years so we'll just look at we're gonna go with the baby plan um, and we'll click on the monthly of ten dollars a month and we'll hit sign up and see what that looks like for you guys. Um, so basically, you already have a domain. It gives you an option to register a new domain. You already have one, so you're going to click, I already own this domain, and then you're going to type in your domain uh, name. It's going to be the HTTP. My computer is being unfriendly to me today. Okay, why is this not? Oh, here we go. And then I picked iMogul. What did I pick? television right dot com so it's gonna look like that and then you're just gonna go down the line and you're gonna create your own username and your password or your pen and this is just for HostGator when you go into your C panel or your control panel to get your name servers and to uh, do other activities uh, with your uh, URL and your account so you want to take note of what you choose make sure you copy it down somewhere it's also going to be mailed to you but I you know I always copy it down because you never know with mail you're going to fill in obviously your billing information, credit card information, and then when you go down, it's going to ask for add ons. It's going to upsell you on some things. You don't need any of this right now. I would say just ignore that. Um, 
and then you're, the only thing I would actually recommend in the beginning is the site backup. Um, it's $20 a year or $10 a month or something like that or $8 a month or something like that and that's good for instant backup so you don't have to worry you can always if something goes uh, wrong with your website you already have a backup system and it's going to be in your cPanel whenever you need to go and say oh I messed up something I need to back up to my latest uh, my uh, earliest version or what have you okay and then it's going to give you the price with the add-ons because it's unlimited hosting with so you can put I use um, my site because I when I first got on I I learned how to create websites so I started doing that for people and they host on my on my host gator account and the, and they're called add-ons so whenever I create a new URL or they purchase a URL and I cr um, direct my name servers to my host gator and now I have it live for them this is how we do it with the hosting add-ons and so they kind of charge you for that total up front and but that's just one time and then um, it's going to be 10 bucks a month so it's 50 about fifty dollars down 10 bucks in a month after that and then you just hit check out now okay and then from there you should get an email with all your register information and your pin information okay and then we're going to go in once you get that you're going to go into your HostGator C panel and that's where we're, we're going to get our name servers like I told you um, in your GoDaddy account where your URL is you want to um, hook up those name servers and we're going to do that in the next video but before I do that I want to go over to the new um, web hosting. They have a, a a web a WordPress hosting cloud hosting service that they didn't have before. Let me see if I already have that pulled up here. Uh, no, that's my. Let me go over there to plans. <clears throat> they have this new WordPress. My computer is slow. There we go. WordPress hosting. So if you hit get started, I believe it's going to tell you what that's all about. And basically, it promises that you get a greater speed, like 2.5 times faster, and it has a built in malware protection and it has free mi migrations. Um, when you choose, when you hit choose plans, it's going to take you down here. Um, this is actually where I'm kind of confused where I'm going to probably contact HostGator to see if um, you know, because this is new how does someone who's already been uh, with them and already has a HostGator account how does that work for my accounts because I'm noticing the maximum amount of sites you only have up to five depending on what plan you get so I'm kind of confused about that but this is an option as well I'm assuming if um, you can start out with this if you like. Um, it's supposed to give you this added speed. Um, you can just buy now. It's the same setup when you purchase and just do it that way. Um, it's up to you whether you, you want to start with the, the plans that I'm used to, the dedicated plans, or I should say the, the legacy plans that I'm used to, or the new WordPress um, site cloud um, plans. Okay, so we're going to stop here and in the next video we're going to go into the HostGator cPanel and get those name servers. Alright, and don't forget your pen and your password because you're going to need that to log into the cPanel. Alright, we'll see you in the next video.